They won't allow me to sleep. This has been going on since like midnight and it's 5, 6. It's 6 a.m. So what happened is I finally fell into a doze just a short while ago. And they, or they orchestrated the worst fucking dream ever. So it was weird. I was just thinking like I was um I was sitting there and I was talking to Tony. Tony had got back from somewhere and he had just like realized that he he found a pleasure in traveling. And we're sitting there and I'm talking to him or we're talking to him. But like the emphasis the 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 attention is on me and him. And I'm really not paying Romano any mind. And and it's because it's almost like both Tony and I are done with him in this orchestrated dream. Like neither one of us want anything to do with him. And he he's talking like trying to get us to see him as not who he is. So anyhow, the scene changes and something suddenly some deal is about to go down and and me and Tony, we walked to the back, and we're sitting there, and you know, in the car, in a car. And I light up a black and mild, and they asked, he asked me, "Was no, it was Romano." I think Tony was like smoking weed or something, and then Mano gets in the car, and he asked me, "What was I having?" Because I don't smoke it, and I said, "I'm out." He told me to let him hit it, and I did, and then. Someone came, like, and said that it was, like, almost like some type of hit was about to go down, like, on that area or location. So, you see, like, a group of females down there walking, like, trying to quickly make their exit. And then two other groups, like, both, all of us heading in the same direction. But they're on the flat part. I go up. When I go up, when I go up, suddenly my mom is behind me. So, I get to this, to the end and I see that I'm kind of on a, a um, beam and there's no way to get there from there. And I'm like, we got to turn back. And a demon, like a, a not a demon, a, but it was a elder out of nowhere. Mind you, they're beneath us. Out of nowhere, she she falls and she reaches and she grabs my mom and she grabs my mom and they both go over together. And I, the entire time that they're going down, I'm like, I hope. My mom falls on top of her and she breaks my mom's fall. And I'm talking about like, I got down there fast as lightning. Like the wind bad through. Everything they said was going, going on or about to happen. And my mom is like starting to try to get up. Like from the fall, but she she's obviously like badly injured. And she... She's not able to talk to me. And I run and I grab her and I hold her and I, I make sure she's woke. And I tell her to like not to um to try to get up just to lay on me. Just to lay on me. And I was so angry when I woke up from the fucking dream. That I couldn't even cry. I couldn't even believe that they orchestrated a fucking dream like that. And I just told her like that it was okay and she made it. So even after that, okay, like, and I'm so angry. And they're just feeding off the anger, okay? So like, they're still saying vicious shit, shit like... They're going to go where they're not supposed to be. 
and do things, you know, in my mom's identity that they're not supposed to do. This is what female agents are saying to me. And then, before that, Then another one tried to play on how hurt I was. And she said, you act like you don't hear us crying in this other place. Yeah, I'm talking about like, I'm going off, like mad as fuck, in thought, not out loud, and the, the bitches was acting like I wasn't saying nothing. They were going on and on and on and on and on like I wasn't saying nothing. Telling me what they were going to do. They also said that he's about to put their businesses in the darkest place. I don't give a fuck about none of that. All that shit was supposed to have been done anyhow. Today is the 16th of January, 2023. They went on and on and on so bad. I wake up and I grab this pistol that has a CO2 cartridge in it. It's out of pellets and I begin to fire it because that's what I've been doing throughout the night when they wouldn't let me sleep and would get aggressive in their words and so aggressive that they were covering up mine like even though I would respond and I was saying things like you can't hear anything but them on these clones of me talking over me so I, w I get grabbed for this pistol and I begin to fire it and it's not doing the sound that it would like that you heard in that other video it they said she ran out of bullets. I mean, they put these images. That shit, I should never have to see. They know how much my mom means to me.
Shut the fuck up. And they're so fucking disrespectful. They're still going on and fucking on. The guys faded into the background. They weren't going to let me fucking get any sleep. As soon as I start recording, a female agent yelled at me she was going to put my ass in the hospital and do something. She ain't, ain't nobody putting me in no hospital. They know I'm going to the VA to report what the fuck they've been doing to me. In days before I get on the road and go go back to Akron, Ohio. I was gonna go on Friday to make a record of what was being done to my chest and back. I was so fucking exhausted after the second trip and running errands, like finally getting the keys. And getting, um, needing things like food. So going grocery shopping and stuff, I decided against. And they tried to lie on me then, and they knew that it doesn't matter when I go. No female agent is screaming far, far, far in the background. She never talks up front. She's screaming. And they said that she was starting to get off of my mom. And as soon as she starts to get off my mom, my mom starts thinking of me. They said somebody just found out that my past is not the same as some other people. And they keep, on more than one occasion, since yesterday, they mentioned Janisha. And that they, that somebody wasn't able to believe that they put Janisha, put me in Janisha's head space and put Janisha in my head space. Talk about categories. So trying to call me a filthy bitch with nasty panties and call her the filthy bitch with nasty panties clean. Something else when I walk, when they woke me up, they gave me the urge to poop. I had to poop, like relieve myself in a brand new container, y'all. And then they were mad about it being such a clean experience. You know, like it not being, and they it wasn't even solid poop. Because you know, if your bowel move, movements are solid, that makes everything not as bad. But they gave me this runny, just oh sick, gutted bowel movement and was mad because I I didn't make a fucking mess with it. Like when they do that shit and there is a toilet involved they don't see me make that mess. And they always are talking about how I clean them off like other people don't clean them off. They complain about me getting them off of me. So, I go in there to relieve myself. And I find that the motherfucker, they done knocked the blinds down. Like those black blinds that I put up yesterday. They knocked both sets down in that room. This is so irrelevant. I hate to even mention it. They were going on and on about me not mini splitting this home. Not putting a mini split in it. And said they were going to mini split so many motherfuckers. Just like that.
I'm telling you, some of these things that they or some of these dreams that they orchestrate is so embarrassing that I hate to even re-mention it like on camera, like the ones that they do with my brother, like trying to have sex with me. Like if I went into the details of one of those orchestrated dreams, you'd be I'm it's fucking trifling. And now that I mentioned it, they called me him on and off yesterday. They kept calling me him. Another thing they're talking about right now is they said somebody got desperate and actually went to my Facebook page and started looking at what was happening and that they saw everything and got mad and has been pretty much acting out and others know why but then and they kept flashing images of Romano but I don't know who they're talking about hey, yesterday they kept saying Samantha was stalking my page which she always does but then they started talking about OKC. Okay, they said somebody, that same person, um, told others that I was in Oklahoma City. And they said, and and then a female agent said, and she know we acting like Tam is there. And they're referring to my aunt. She went there for her 2021st. That sounds crazy as fuck. In 2021, she came here. For her anniversary and in 2020 I decided that I was moving here it's all noted in my journals she came here to sabotage me so the agents that were using her said they were going to come here and they thought that if they came here that it would keep me from moving here so in 2020 while I'm contacting AMHA talking about inter not interstate transfers. That's a military term. Talking about um, posting out, opting out, um, porting out with the housing authority. Talking about porting out and um, coming here and like I don't know maybe in some of the videos you even see me not being able to get a hold of the OKC housing authority, but. They tried to send her hair to that, like, you know, it, it was all about acting out things that I couldn't do and claiming that others were me. That's what that time was about. So like truck driving is another thing. Got a cousin that's never had a job ever and they had him become a truck driver. So it's a whole lot of things and a whole lot of details that I really don't want to go into because you know when it comes down to like family type stuff and I don't even consider that cousin family anymore. Like but when it comes down to that stuff, I don't um I don't like talking about it like this. It's one of those things like it would have to be open once the, this matter is out and has reached others. Because as long as it's talked about this way, they use it against me. This way meaning isolated. No telling when this is going to get out. Like, But it will be this year within a matter of months. But think about how long I've been talking about these things getting up to this point. I didn't even have money for five years. In March, it will be six years. March of this year, it will be six years they, that the federal government has been attacking me with science. They said they were mad that I can still dance and that he saw me about to go to a club and he lost his mind. And he said he's going to shut everything down. And that, that they he found out that they programmed all these females to dance like me. But... More than anything, he was mad that I could still dance. Like, which is an indicator that I'm not possessed. That's like 
when I'm talking about everything that they like that we do, they try to to keep us from doing it to do it themselves. And that was one of the things that happened to my mom. Like everyone would talk about how great a dancer she was, and then out of nowhere she couldn't dance. And guess what? No different than I know that in the past, they killed all the witnesses. It ain't nothing but these piece of shit ass kids they'd have had. They don't know nothing about the family's past or their history. They don't even listen to them talk. Of all which were motherfuckers that did nothing but sit on the porch. Attacking them. Everyone's condition is getting worse because they trying to get by in fucking life. Want to be motherfucking. Um, it's not an STNA. But it's like they want to be like di work at dialysis centers. And they want to motherfucking be supervisors. And they want to just, you know what I'm saying? Like all this shit to get by. And that's the most extreme. Then they got the others that just don't want, that want to live like no one knows them. In the city that they're from. Right now they're talking about how. They started pulling stuff off of the people in this neighborhood and that they are about to realize that I'm not going to be living here. Said so they thought that they were just going to feed off me. Hours ago, they were talking about how for three days I've been lightheaded from the type of attacks that they're making and all the stuff that they're talking, attaching to me. And then on top of that, they're watching me work like just non-stop and not and make sure they're making sure I don't sleep 